Hi there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to put together Rose Hill Stamp Camp, Stamp Camp Kit. So this is your kit looks like this, it comes with the full instructions, and then um, all the pieces and parts are here in our card base. So I'm going to start with this piece of balmy blue, like this, and this specialty cork paper. Now I want to adhere these two together and I want to make sure that I get them lined up perfectly. So I'm going to actually use my Stamparatus base. I'm going to put it up here, my balmy blue up here in the corner, and then I'm going to take some adhesive and I'm going to make sure on the ends I put a lot of adhesive or at least a couple rows of my tape runner because when I go to cut it the right size I want to make sure that there's um, adhesive all the way to the edge and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I turn it over but so I have my base here and really anything would work that has a corner like this that you could set your paper in because then when you come in with your other piece of paper and you want to line them up perfect you just set it in that corner like that and look how easy it is to line it up perfect and then over here I don't know if you can see or not but there's a little bit of adhesive showing so that I know it's really nice and stuck down to my balmy blue so that's just a, a quick tip there. And then I'm gonna just trim this to size. And there we go. Now we have our cork paper on our balmy blue all lined up and perfect and ready to go. So then we're gonna take this die cut here. And now if you're interested in all the measurements and supplies I used, you can go to my blog, becreativewithkathy.com. And um, I'll have all the supplies and measurements on there in case you want to make uh, some more of these cards yourself. So we'll just trim this mountains down to size. It doesn't take much. It's not much bigger like that. And then with these two rows of trees on one of them, I'm going to just take and make sure I have the right side down. I do. And I'm going to just add a little bit of adhesive here. I'm not going to be too careful because I'm going to cover. If I get adhesive where it is show, I'm going to cover it up with the next row of trees. So I'm going to take this row and I'm going to put it right at the top of that cork so that it covers up that space between the mountains and the, and I don't know if you can see or not, but there is adhesive showing through, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'll cover it up with this row of trees. Now I'm going to take some mini dimensionals and you know, I think this is the back. It's hard to tell. So my punch must be really sharp. Yay but I'm gonna put dimensionals on every other tree. And like I said, I'm using mini dimensionals. If you, didn't, if you didn't want dimensionals, you could just lay this flat on your card too. And then on this, on both ends, I'm going to add an extra dimensional just because when I trim this down, I want it to be stuck to my card at the edge. So I'm gonna, like I said, put dimensionals toward the edge so that when I cut it away, I make sure I still get the edge of my paper. And I hope that makes sense if it doesn't, I don't know, sorry, that's the best I can do. But we're gonna take all these little backings off, which, oh brother, but there I got them. And then I'm gonna stagger my trees. Now when I punched it out, I start at different places. You can see how I punched it out different. So it should stagger nicely for you. And I'm gonna just lay it like that and look how now it looks like a bunch of trees. So let's trim those edges. And now if you need to, you can trim right through those dimensionals, but yet the edge of your card is gonna be um, stuck down nicely so you won't have any problems with the edges of the cards. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this piece and put it onto our card base. So a little bit of tape runner on the back there. And then we'll just center this nicely on the front. Look how pretty our card is looking. While I'm at it, I'm going to take that large piece of basic white and just put that onto the inside. Like here. Now, if you wanted to stamp something on there, I would do it before you put it down. That way, if it doesn't come out perfect, you can always turn it over and stamp it again. Okay, so now it's time for our clouds. I'm gonna take one of the clouds and just put um, tape runner on there. Whoops, I almost taped it to my table here. Well, I did tape it to my table, there we go. 
I'm gonna set this just up here at the top corner. And then this one, I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals. And I think that this makes it look like one cloud is further away and they're kind of staggered. It just gives it that dimension that we need on the card. There again, if you don't have dimensionals, all you'd have to do is lay that flat on your card. But I'm gonna set this one down here a little bit and now look how pretty. So in your kit too, you have one tag that I have computer generated thinking of you on there. And then I gave you a blank one just in case you want to stamp your own greeting. And now I need a birthday card. So I'm going to bring in some early espresso ink. And I have this happy birthday stamp all mounted. This is from the art gallery. Love this stamp set because it has all these sentiments. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and ink up and then I have to practice once. So let me bring in my scratch paper. It looks pretty good. And then we're, I'm gonna just stamp it down right here on that die cut piece. And like I said, if you wanna know what supplies I used, all you have to do is go to my blog and I have them all listed because I can't remember the name of this die set. But then just on the back of here, I'm gonna just put a little bit of tape runner. Well, maybe I am. Yep, I am, determination here. There we go. And I'm gonna just set this right here on there. So there you go. So there's my card for Rose Hill for October. I hope you like it. I hope you keep coming back to get our kits to go and um, I'll see you back in November. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.